Hi everybody, me again. Today I thought I need to do something different here on the desk. And um, I've been working on this one so far for Rosita, but I need a break on that one. Definitely need a break. So I thought I'd go through this beauty, which I did in 20. 17-ish or 2018 maybe um, and she's the lavender this is some tapestry fabric stitched in signatures three that's the back I tinted this lace all around in purple so this is all about purple and here is some charms mm, this one. they go with the scene so let me see if this is well in frame yeah I think so maybe we can get a bit bigger like this Okay, so um, this is just a photocopy of the fabric, like I do always, and some spray paint on it. Some liquid pearls over here. I cut my finger very badly yesterday, my thumb, cutting onions, so sorry for that. I know it's not pretty, but it does help. Um, distressing because if I go and I run around stuff so my finger doesn't get so inky there's a good point there's always a good point about anything just have to find it so in here this is like a little metal plate and I put some coffee dyed paper in there a little butterfly a bow this stamp here and this flower. Lace trim all around. Lace trim, no. Lash trim. Is it lash? Yeah, lash trim. So we have a doily here. This is quite sturdy paper, all coffee dyed. Little lovely sticker. Tuck spot with some of these kind of thing and a little writing space. It's just out of a coloring book, nothing special. This is some ripping paper which I love using. This is one of my custom made um, stationery papers where basically I just cut out. I think this um, maple leaf and printed it on in more purple, purpley colors. Paper bag, some paper, writing spot. It's quite plain, this journal. See? This is coffee dye too. And here is a little pocket with some washi tape and lace. Tiny bitty notebook. Grid paper and coffee dyed cover. No sturdy cover, it's just soft paper. And here she's peeking out there. Now I see she needs some finishing touches. There's some some mistakes at the eyes. Put my purple ring just for this charm for you. There's fabric and um, napkin on an old book page. So even though the fabric is not very thin, the napkin is, the book page is so skinny and thin and fine that it's still it's really really soft. See that? Feels very good. 
And here is a real feather from my chicken. A pocket. Some writing paper in there, some embellishment. Here is a huge pocket because this is an envelope hand stitched up there. Let me see if this is on frame. Yeah. I'm gonna show you. Hand stitching. Um, and just a variation of papers. Nothing special. And there can still be put a lot of stuff in there. Okay, I'm gonna put the dressed clip on here again. And the embellishment, I just um, fixed them in, in the binding. And let them hang down here. This is from Flow Magazine. Coffee dye paper. This is really, really plain. Here we have this one. Which first I had it in the paper bag. But then I thought, no, leave the bag empty mm -hmm. for a change and put this on here. I just clip this down. Do we have a paper clip? And this one is called You Are Bliss. Yes, you are bliss. And the painting is by Daffinger, in case you want to look that up. He lived from 1790 to 1849. And he was a specialist in the painting of the flowers of the Alps, all watercolour paintings. And since we live in the Alps here, or just before the Alps, this is pretty much self-explanatory. Here's the other half of the doily, and here is a couple of goodies. A meter pocket is just with a stapler. And what we've got in here is a bit lace, paper scrap, another paper scrap, all doubled to open to write in or to embellish more. This is a soft purple colored, I don't know what kind of um, paper, it's not paper. They use it for decoration, for flower bouquets and this stuff. Design paper, more writing space, which comes like that, and a bit like this. And here which we have basically the same values of color as the whole journal. A little notebook with some decorations. Like so. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that goes in here. So the embellishments are very concentrated. We have plain areas, which is page and page and page, quite empty. And then we have, like this one, a whole lot going on at once. This is the other side of the start here. Oh, and this is nail polish, by the way. This is liquid pearls. And this is nail polish. Use up your old nail polish in your books. Nothing better than that. And here we have a real goodie. This is original painting I did. And I had to give credit because the background, as you see all that, is from a catalogue by Gudrun Sjöden. And this is where I put Gudrun Sjöden background. 
the lady I painted her. On the back there is writing spot. Here is writing spot. And here we have a trip to come. Of three ladies I painted. And I left them like black and white. Which is like brown and, and black. And it says inspired by newspaper fashion illustrations of the 1960s in the US. And they're gorgeous. So all this is um, original paintings. And again, to all that listen now, please do cooperate, incorporate your own art. Even though you think it's not, not worth anything, just try. I really like to encourage everybody to put his own art, not only just ready and feminine like this. Or like a doily. Just play around. You can't fail. Um, this is an old postcard. I think it's... Can't see. Doesn't have a date on it, but it's definitely me. I don't know, Hungarian, I think. Yeah, these two gorgeous ones and some washi tapes around. I photocopied the images directly on the paper. Here's some hand stitching and another envelope opened at the bottom. More daffing or painting, more writing space. A napkin stuck into a paper bag. This is a design paper writing spot, nothing special. More writing space, and here also. An Italian saying, Italian paper, so whatever paper, and that one. And this is a spray painted image of a fern, and um, I stitched this fabric all around. And in here lives, who lives in there? A tag. I think I remember. Yeah. This is an old book page. Just cut out this form. Old postal stamp. And this is napkin again. And if you're interested to know um, where to get napkins that you don't have to buy the whole pack every time just if you want like one piece of it then you can go to um, Servietten shop Diana I put that down for you hold on They do all languages and I think they do worldwide shopping, uh, shipping as well. Servietten shop. Diana. And you will find them. And they have like, be prepared. If you, they have categorized nature theme and flower theme and animals and patterns and everything you can think of and you need a lot a lot of time but they have the most beautiful napkins ever and as I said you can just order one only piece of, of a kind here is some old old picture of Grenoble L'entrée de la shop Chapelle, this is the entrance of the chapel. Le Palais de Justice, 
15th century or something like that. Here's just a little drawing with some liquid pearls and nail polish again. This is the this very ribbon or lace and I just spray painted. Matter of fact when I spray painted this to color it in purple I laid it down here and sprayed and this is what, what, what was left then and this is one of my favorite images really love the old old rotten piano it seems it's just like a symmetry for pianos because here it looks like another one Never forget the time is running. If you want to do something, do it now. People think they have time endlessly, but they don't. This is, if not, our biggest failure. It's just a blink of the eye. Unfortunately, I do not remember who said that or where I got this from because I carry the quote with me like 30 years. Here's another spot for writing, some design paper, brown paper and a bit of cloth, cute old car, this is when I did my jelly printing, there was a image transfer. Kitty cat. Here's like a ghost print of a doily. And the paper bag, some goodies in there. This is what I like doing too. Look, this is just craft paper or any brown brownish paper or packing paper will do. And just put a stencil and some gesso just randomly and the feel is beautiful and really 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 nice nice thing to do it's only just so no colors ah here is some purple paper clips spare ones now i know where they will go <laughs> hand stitching again pocket more writing another couple these are obviously guests at the Hotel Imperial in Budapest. Stenciling. There was bleeding through also. But it's still nice. Here is another sh whole sheet of this material. I'm sorry guys, I can't, I don't know. What that is, I don't know. It feels like plastic, really. Should give this one a try in, in jelly printing. Now you see. Little embellishment here. Yeah, mm, another bag, like a huge thingy paper clip. Today I can say paper clip, paper clip, paper clip, paper clip. The last video I did, I could not spit out the word. I, just, I said all kind of things. <laughs> so, bow here, like so. And it's really plain again. Here you see the spray painting. Huge pocket, napkin, and some. This is one of my favorite papers. Don't know what it is. It is it's for the like the curry color or curcuma color. And when we were in Toscana, at a little stop to to eat some a snack. 
they had these as placemats. Don't know. And I asked if I could have a couple, and he looked at me like I really he couldn't believe why I was asking for those. But I really love it. Perfect touch to it. Here again. Now this is not coming. Hmm. Got hooked somehow. Okay. No biggie. Oh, this is so bugging me. The phone. Okay, and here we have another bag. This is a ribbon, self adhesive. Some fabric, bell and hand stitching again. A metal butterfly. I wanted to put it on on top here on the cover, but I just don't like it. I don't know why. I tried everywhere. I tried here in the center. I tried random like up here somewhere. Down here somewhere. If any spot, then maybe here. And I could just do it still. Hand stitch it. But I don't know. I don't I don't like it. I don't like maybe the metal. I like all that softness here of the fabric. So we have here punched out butterflies. Here it is. Here again, see, just gesso and brown paper. Really beautiful. Okay, another bag, some spare trim, some paper to write on, and what's that? Handmade with love. Oh, okay, like a little business card. And that was it. And here in the back, I just made a pocket. I left it quite plain also. Even though I prepared a, some goodies, maybe we can do something over here. This is just a tag, fabric, glued on, and a Jane Austen quote. And this right there is, it says El Camino de Santiago de Compostela, which is the St. James path or the St. James way. It's a pilgrim way. And we live right on it. So from here, you can go straight to Compostela in Spain. And this is the original stamp. That you will receive when you pass um, doing your pilgrimage when you pass our church up there this is the stamp original stamp okay so this is the book for closure i haven't thought anything so far and here's the goodies, but I think we're going to do this next video. Because I wanted to do, this normally would all go in the trash bin. This is done. Tag is done. Cluster is done. But with all these, I can do so more, so many more clusters and decoration embellishments. And we will work on this next time. Okay. So thanks for hanging with me. Oh, one last thing I, I'm showing you. Look at that. This is also my kind of art I'm doing. And um, 
but it won't go into this kind of journal because these journals are too soft and too sweet. This is stamps. Stamp, stamp, stamp. And I did some more of this trunk stamp. And I'm thinking about doing, I, I cut it out to open. Thinking about doing something here as well. But that later, some other day. So this is painted by me in the eye as well. All the rest is stamps. Bicycle, poster, the key, hanging flower, and the book. Okay, so see you next time. Thanks for hanging with me. And love you all. Ciao, ciao.